वेलकम बैक है सेल एंड वेक पार्ट टू फर्स्ट स्टोरी मोड एक्सपेंशन इज अवेलेबल नाउ इट्स कॉल्ड नाइट स्प्रिंग्स गेम गॉड अपडेटेड टू वर्जन 1.1 इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेस्टिंग द गेम ऑन माय स्टीम डेक रनिंग ऑन स्टीम ओएस आई विल आल्सो शो यू हाउ टू यूज एएमडीज एफएसआर 3 फ्रेम जनरेशन टेक फॉर एब्सोल्युटली फ्री इन दिस गेम यूजिंग अ प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड डीएलएसएस एनेबलर आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग इट सेटअप प्रोसेस नो दिस गेम विल हैव ग्राफिकल बग्स एंड मिसिंग टेक्सचर्स इफ यू रन इट ऑन स्टीम ओएस वर्जन 3.5 और एनीथिंग ओल्डर देन दैट These bugs get fixed with an updated GPU driver that comes with Steam OS version 3.6 or anything newer than that. My Steam Deck is running on the preview build of Steam OS version 3.6.3, so there won't be any graphical bugs. However, fixing the graphical bugs comes with a slight performance hit. I have already shown you how to install Epic Games on Steam OS via Steam itself. We'll drop the video link in the description. I encountered a bug in this preview build of Steam OS. The interface of Epic Game Store was not rendered properly in Steam OS gaming mode. However, when I launched the application in Steam OS desktop mode, interface was rendered properly. It's the preview build of Steam OS after all, so I really can't complain. DLSS enabler is basically a collection of multiple mods. It installs and automatically configures these mods for us. For the purpose of enabling DLSS frame generation, it uses Newcom 9's DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod. Go to this website. I'll give its link in the description. Download DLSS enabler from here. Access mods. We need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files, download the latest version of DLSS Enabler. Just click on Manual Download here. Then click on Download. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Look for DLSS Enabler EXE file. And there it is. Now you need to obtain the pseudo Steam ID of Epic Game Store. This ID will vary from Steam Deck user to user, as Epic Game Store is a non-Steam Windows application. You can obtain the pseudo Steam ID using Proton Tricks. You can get this application for absolutely free from Discover Store. In my case, this is the pseudo Steam ID. Ends with 632. Now just navigate to the Compile Data directory and look for a folder whose name is this, the pseudo Steam ID of Epic Games. This is the directory Home Deck dot local share Steam Steam apps Compile Data, and there's the folder corresponding to Epic Games. Open it. Open PFX folder. Open Drive C folder. Then open Users folder. Open Steam User folder. Then open App Data folder. Open Local folder. Open Remedy folder. Open Alan Wake 2 folder. Open Render dot ini file. Hey, look for B Lens Distortion. By default, it's set to True. Change it to False. This will fix the frame generation related artifacts. I'll be installing DLSS Enabler. Alan Wake Part 2 with the expansion installed weighs around 101 GB. I have installed it on an SD card, Amazon Basics, A2 rated speed. Didn't have any free space on the internal storage. This is the directory where I have installed it. Epic Games, Alan Wake 2. We need to install DLSS enabler in this directory where the game's .exe file is present. I have actually already installed DLSS enabler here. I'll just reinstall it. The process is very simple. Just open Proton Tricks. Find Epic Games. Double click. It will take about five to six seconds for the next window to pop up. Check this setting. Select the default Wine Pricks. Now, check this setting. Run Explorer. Okay. It's the standard way of executing an EXE file. Experienced users already know this. Just click on My Computer, Z Drive, Home, Deck Folder. Open Downloads folder. I am just looking for DLSS enabler setup file. There it is. Double click. Installer will start. I accept. Next. Next. You need to navigate to a directory where the game is installed. In my case, it's the SD card, so I'll open D drive. Alphabet may vary from user to user. Epic Games. Alan Wake 2 folder. That's it. Okay. This is where the game's EXE file is present. Next, first option is checked. We'll be installing Newcom 9's Universal DLL version of the mod. Check this setting as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Steam Deck has an AMD-based GPU. Next, install. Wait for the process to complete. There you go. And check this box. Finish. We are done here. Need to execute one registry file. Open the games install directory where you install the mods. 
This is the directory in my case. Hey, just look for a registry file. There it is. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. We need to execute it. In order to revert it changes, just execute this registry file. Restore NVIDIA signature checks. Copy it. And just create a backup of it on the desktop. Make it easier for us to access it via ProtonTrix. Paste one file. And there it is. Run ProtonTrix. Start Epic Games. Double click. Check select the default file and tricks option. OK. Now check this option. Run regitate. OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. There it is. Just click on registry here. Then click on import registry file. Navigate to the desktop. My computer Z drive. Open home folder. Open deck folder. Here look for desktop folder. There it is. And there is a registry file. Double click. Execute it. Now upon Steam, need to add a launch option. Select Epic Games from your Steam library. Right click Properties. Under Launch Options, add this launch option. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. I'll also show you the compatibility layer using G Proton version 9-7. Just start Epic Games. It works properly in SteamOS desktop mode. You can see its interface is rendered properly here, but when I'll run it using SteamOS gaming mode, interface won't be rendered at all. I've connected my Cosmic Pads to the Gamepad to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Open Epic Games. This is the bug. Epic Games has started, but the interface is completely blank. I can still start the game from here. It's actually here somewhere. Click it. See the hand icon. Game may launch. Okay, nothing happened. Click here. Oh, it worked. This message popped up. Set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. Game should start now. There you go. Performance tab. Only level set to 2. Frame limit set to 60. That's it. High on the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Graphics setting. You can see we have access to DLSS which is basically XCSS version 1.3 upscaler using this mod using its performance preset. I have disabled DLSS frame generation for the time being. Motion blur frame gain lens distortion we seem disabled. Using the low settings wherever possible. All effects disabled. Ray tracing disabled. That's it. You can access the expansion packs from the games menu right here. Expansions. Night Springs start the first episode all right the game has started we're playing as the waitress rose marigold alan wake's number one fan a complete psycho if you ask me here fps is around 30 to 37 out in the open alan needs a help yeah, you can observe the choppiness hitting the gp bottleneck And just enable frame generation now. Check this box. Enabled. You can see FPS increased. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is definitely working. Double image around the left edge of the display. Common frame generation behavior. Shouldn't be noticeable when our character is in the center how can you leave this place variable fps 43 to 50 this fps in this game often drops below 30 on deck show you some combat skip the cutscene The fighting against the Taken. This area is more demanding than the previous one. Take foliage. Combat start. Around 50 FPS. Collecting some resources. Oh my god. This thing was right behind me. Oh 
I'll be honest guys, the game is actually playable, not the ideal experience, still better than the real 25 FPS, FSR frame generation is trying to double the FPS, no graphical bugs, updated GPU that have fixed the bugs. Oh my god, area open up, time to bail. That was close. Heal myself. This area is more demanding. 42 FPS. This FPS should be around 20. Audio is not stuttering. Use my rifle. on the correct path gain save there's the taken perfect turn so that's how the expansion pack works on steam deck using fsr3 frame generation best part is you can enable fsr3 using dlss never for absolutely free that's it with the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.